Good morning. I hope everything's great in your life today and that this is going to be an amazing week for you. I want to think with you today about just an intriguing concept in our time. We're living in a day when uh, attending church is not uh, really uh, oh, something that people seem to be drawn to anymore. Uh, I can remember well times when uh, they seemed like people were drawn to go to worship and, and be with the other people and enjoy the, the times of fellowship, and it was something that we looked forward to. But as the years have gone by, it's interesting how many people have decided that, no, I can do just as well in my worship and service unto God if I just do it on my own. If I stay home, watch it on TV, or I'm, I'm just doing it with my family, and, and we're not fooling with the whole thing of going to church and being with people. And I, I wonder, I wonder about all of that. You think about the very idea that the church uh, the word church, one of the meanings of it was a gathering, a, a coming together. It was a, it was a word that was used of the community coming together for a meeting before Jesus took the word and said, upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. It, it was from the very beginning a notion that they would get together and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' teaching in fellowship, in breaking of bread, and in prayers. And it talks about that in Acts 2, after 3,000 people had been baptized into Christ, that they, they got together daily and were worshiping and praising God together. And so what changed? I read in 1 Corinthians 14 about the assembly and the gathering of people together. And, and it's interesting, back in chapter 11, he had talked about how that uh, you came together on that first day of the week, and, and it was a time when they would commune. They would share in taking of the Lord's Supper, and he warned them that some of the things they were doing, by, because of their lack of concern for one another, was, was destroying that whole thing of worship. It wasn't what God intended it to be. And then in chapter 14, it, it's all about one major theme, that what you do when you gather together ought to be to the building up or the edifying of the body as a whole. He talked about things like speaking in tongues and prophesying, but the one theme that runs through the whole deal is the idea that whatever you do ought to build up the church. If it doesn't do that, don't do it. Don't do it. If there's not somebody there, for example, when someone wants to speak in a, a language or a tongue that is different than everybody else, don't do it unless there's someone who can translate or interpret what's being said. Everything ought to be done to the building up of the body. Look at this verse in, in verse number 12. Uh, so it is with you. Since you're eager for gifts of the Spirit, try to excel in, in those that build up the church. Listen. There's something about the coming together that is, that is vital. And, and uh, when it doesn't build up that, the body, when I'm not built up as a Christian, when I'm going together, something des desperately is wrong with, with what's going on. The gathering of the Christians, if I'm, if I'm pouring myself out into it, if I'm, if I'm giving of myself in that worship, it ought not just to build me up, it ought to build up others around me. They ought to be encouraged and strengthened in their faith. And it's easy in our, in our thinking about worship to become so centered on me that I'm not thinking about what it does for anybody else. 
But I want to tell you something. If I can get my focus turned on what I can do in that assembly to encourage and build up and strengthen others that are there and get that mind off me, it's amazing how blessed I will be in that whole gathering. Uh, the writer of Hebrews would say, don't, don't forsake that gathering together like, like some are doing. But, but encourage one another. Build one another up. And all the more as you see hard times or that day approaching or tough times. We need the gathering. We need that time when we build and think about and encourage one another in the body. D don't forsake that gathering. You're the one who suffers as a result. But listen, if all you're thinking about in the assembly or even whether or not you go to the assembly is about yourself, the reality is you've got your attention in the wrong direction. Think about what you're doing for the Lord and about what you're doing for others. It'll change everything.